Hey you guys, all right. I wanted to go ahead and film my best of 2023, like best of the year, okay? We're fully into 2024, but I did not do my sort of like best of for this year. And so I'm really excited to kind of get into that. I'm filming this right after the video that I just did where I did a full face makeup tutorial and then we talked a bunch of, talked a bunch of mess while we were doing it, very chatty, um, using all of my favorites, a lot of my favorite makeup products. Um, just like a go-to every day. We got ready, did my hair and everything. Not that it's long right. <laughs> it's very rainy today, so we'll just we'll, we'll do what we gotta do. Do what we can do, okay? Um, but yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and film this one. Anyways, I've got a collection here. Rounded up my favorites. Skincare to beauty, all kinds of things. Early in the year, I just get very like, very into cleaning out and, and doing all the things and I'm about to tackle I think when we get back from our trip this whole like clo my closet like the beauty closet how I have everything kind of organized it's so nice and pretty and I love it but it's been years and the makeup needs to be cleaned out I try to stay on top of it um, I, I the thought of a makeup collection makes me very uneasy because again we've lived and we've learned and like we, nobody has time for like an eye infection or like gross makeup because for years you know we spent so much on all this stuff and then years later looked and we're like wow i have 100 mac palettes and they're all old what do you do with it like makeup gets old and so i found that it's more quality and not quantity over these last several years i feel like people are kind of moving more towards that but i really want to keep that up going into this year and it has been organized so well to the point where like I haven't felt the need to clean out a lot. So thus it has kind of accumulated a little bit. Let me, let me show you. Okay, you can kind of see in there, real cute, got a lot of good stuff, but it really needs to, um, we need a little rework I think here and there. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time next week, but that's gonna come up soon. I think that'll be kind of interesting. Um, but, but today I really wanted to focus on these favorites and I think that's getting me in a good mindset of like, these are the things I really love. And, you know, I sit here and I have a nice spot to get ready at my vanity. Like Brad's got his set. I've got mine with my sink and my little cabinet and everything, but I've got a little place to sit with a long drawer. And in the drawer, I have like just my daily makeup that I use. So I'm not grabbing from some big collection. All my extra colors are in there. And when I need something or I want a red lipstick or do something a little different, I'll grab for it in there or extra sponges or whatever, extra colors I may not be reaching for every day, but I still like, that's what that is. But a lot of things do kind of get forgotten. And sometimes, you know, things come in and I'm like, oh, I'll just throw it in there. I'm really trying to get so much better about that because the last several years, and you guys have probably noticed this, I've really, I really practice what I, I don't want to say preach, but I really do use what I suggest. I, you know, if I open something, I try to, to get through it, you know, I, I don't want to just be on to the next, on to the next. So where makeup is concerned, um, you know, we did that in the last video. I'll kind of go through that here in a second, but I just want to kind of get into some of these skin things. I've got so much to talk about. Let's just go. Um, this hair product, it's so good. I mean, I don't even need any other hair care products. It's just a styling cream. It has your heat protectant. It kind of like controls, gives you a little bit of like shine and some um, conditioning, very good blow dry cream, but I rarely blow dry my hair. So, but it doesn't make it greasy if it air dries. So this is amazing. I'm gonna link to everything that I mention. These, and, and you're gonna see like, it's not, okay, I discovered some great things in November and December, some of them I might show, but I'm really kind of focusing on the things that I use the most from the year and things that were really great. These, these pawpaw sponges, so good. They come in a giant bag. I think they're better than a beauty blender. This is the one that I just used. It's wet. You can see how big it gets when it's wet. This is a dirty one, but do yourself a favor and grab those. They make your makeup look flawless. Um, let's get through the skincare first. This cleanser is so nice, especially, you know, as you're aging, as your skin ages, as you're even in your 20s, I think that we're not really stripping our skin anymore. You know, I'm, you know, going to be 40 and I know I say that all the time, but it's just for context, you know, I am doing different things to take care of my skin. I found that nourishing it makes it clearer and happier as someone that still has oily skin and is still very prone to acne. I had the worst acne in my early 30s. 
My skin was perfect in my 20s. Early 30s, it was like, nah, bye-bye, you know? Um, so you do have to kind of watch out with those things. And during those times, I was like using very heavy duty things like stripping it, it was pumping more oil, okay, whatever. This um, is the Daydream Cleanser, Dream, your dream cleanser come true. Smells like, it's very nostalgic. It kind of smells like my grandma's like ponds. Do you remember that smell of like ponds cold cream, which is very satisfying. Um, but it's creamy. I use it in the morning. You don't really need something so harsh in the morning. I use it at night sometimes too. It's great after using a cleansing oil. Um, I really love the Biosense cleansing oil. The Chanel one though is the one that I use the most, that I have used the most. It doesn't sting your eyes. You can do everything with it. I'll link that one too. But you know, I, I, I just love a creamy cleanser and I think that one's so good. I love, love, love this I can't live without. It's the Clear Stim Bounce Back Serum. It's called like a Botox alternative. It says collagen, tripeptide, and argan renewing, restoring, nourishing. And this, again, they say kind of mimics a Botox vibe because not with like freezing your face, but with the texture and, you know, addressing those fine lines and, you know, so good. I used to spend hundreds on a product that had these same ingredients that really makes a difference. And I thought I'll never find anything similar. And this is so good. Just invest in this for your skin. It's so nice. I use it morning and night. This will always be my baby and my favorite. I will never be without this. I think it has really done wonders for how my eyelids have aged and how they've stayed tight and not creepy. Um, there's, I don't have a lot of lines on my eyelids. It's the Eyelid Lift Serum. Every morning, every night, under makeup, religiously for 10 years. And I think it's just so good. Um, this is an amazing spray if you have any, if you have skin, okay, you do this, but if you have anything like psoriasis, you're prone to redness, you know, anything, irritation, um, acne, dryness, any, any type of skin would benefit for this. It actually has, you know, an ingredient that calms your skin. I, I use it as a toner morning and night. So good. And I have a little travel one and I bought that huge jug of it that I refill it with and, um. I can't get enough of those. I love it so much. Okay, any other skin stuff? I'm sure I'll get to some. Oh, these two things. Um, okay, this is so good. This Biosance. I did a video talking about so many Biosance things, but on top of any moisturizer, on top of anything, you can add this product in at night. It really kind of protects your skin barrier. I've used about, I don't know, maybe almost half my jar, but it's the Overnight Rescue with the Ectoin and Squalene, and it really, Squalene, Squalene. We know what it is, but it really does such a good job. I especially love it concentrating it here. It's so nice. Um, this is my favorite under eye cream. It's the Shiseido Benefiance. You could use this morning and night. Morning, I do use this Biosance, the Squalene and Peptide Eye Gel. I really love that. But this is rich. It actually does something with, you know, smoothing and you know, the skin barrier and strengthening and it really does make my eyes look nice. So I just think it's a very, very nice eye cream and I've used a lot of those. Um, a few more skin things. <laughs> I know I keep saying, oh, that's the last thing now, keep finding more. As far as like treatments and stuff or like extras, I mean, there's so many, I'm looking and I'm seeing so many things that I love but I'm really not trying just to say everything that I like. I'm really just trying to like hit the high points. A mask that I think is just, so good and just all around great because sometimes I don't want to use one that's going to be super drying. Sometimes I don't want to use one that's going to be super hydrating. I just want something right between hydrating, but that's also going to keep my skin like calm and happy. This Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask. I've gone through probably more of these than any other mask I've ever had. It's beautiful. It really does like even out your skin tone. It's fun to use at night, but I like using it in the morning because I think it really kind of evens you out for the day and kind of makes everything real smooth. And then um, years ago, or I don't even know, maybe last year, oh, I replaced my, um, the Drunk Elephant, you know, the baby facial that has the AHA, BHA, really cleans your pore lining and all that, keeps your pores clean. I kind of found this instead. It's less expensive and it's a little more moisturizing. It's the bubble mask and it has the same ingredients. So I use this once a week religiously. Um, okay, what else? Okay, and then just a few more things. I discovered this brand this year too. This was the same brand of the face wash. This is some of the best moisturizer. I've discovered some great ones toward the end of the year, but this is like the star of the year. It's the Bloom Gel Cream for acne prone skin. Don't let that scare you if you're not acne prone or you're really wanting to address aging. 
This will make your skin so bouncy, so glowy. It smells naturally of cotton candy. It doesn't have added fragrance. It's so yummy, but it makes your skin just glow. And it looks beautiful. I mean, it works beautifully under makeup, but it just gives your skin like that bouncy, just juicy yumminess. And for the price and the ingredient, like you can find cheap moisturizers that work. You can find expensive moisturizers that work, but for the ingredients, for what it does, for the quality of the product, it's the best price. I think it's around like $19 for a moisturizer and it lasts, you know, several months. It's very good. Um, I also started using this at night. Like I love, like I, I use this with my skincare routine, like the Biosense, you know, like I'll pat that on, um, you know, on top of my moisturizer or, or as my moisturizer. But hours later, I keep this by my bed. And, you know, right before I, I go to sleep, because Brad says this makes my, it smells very natural, okay? And he's like, whoa, you smell like soil. But I love the smell of it. I don't know what it is. It puts me to sleep. It's like I associate it with sleep now. It just smells yummy to me, like you could eat it, but don't. It's the oil for acne prone skin. And they show people like before and after that have like a face full of acne and then it really fades it. Nourishing acne, you think, oh, I'm gonna dry it out. That's not always the vibe. You know, using products that aren't gonna be pore clogging, that are gonna calm it, um, can sometimes, you know, make your skin clearer. I think all the time. But I use this every night. Like, this is my last time, I put just a few drops on my hands. I'm... I love that stuff so much. Even though Brad thinks it stinks, but he's gonna come around and he has no choice because I'm too bad, Brad. I really. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, I see this in here. Before I get into more products, I don't know if it was last year or the year before I demoed this, and um, I'm gonna do it again, because I probably need to. I don't care who you are, okay? You've seen your husband have one of these, your boyfriend, yourself, your son, whoever. This is a product that's usually, this is my point, aimed towards men, and they made a cute little one, it's white, and it's a nose hair trimmer, and I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. You need this. If you think you don't have nose hair, guaranteed you do. The people that don't think they know, have nose hair are the people that always have nose hair. Ooh, don't you find that stuff? And I think what it is, like sometimes you see people that have like hair or thick, and you just think, oh God, they can't see it. You know, they just can't see it. It's not that they don't care, it's that they just can't see it. You gotta get up on yourself with some of those magnifying mirrors and you have to really be honest with yourself about nose hair in 2024. You need to, okay? Dark haired ladies, am I right? We know the struggle, okay? Blonde haired ladies, you know, kind of medium. I'm gonna tell you, you may not think you have it, you do. I'm looking at it. Every time you lean your head back, every time you're talking to me, I see the nose hair. Just take care of business, it takes two seconds. I mean, my God, you brush your teeth every day, pop that up in there once a week and and live your life, okay? A few more things, that's just very important. That honestly should have been at the top of the video. It's so cheap. It's not like I'm asking you to go laser your, I don't wanna say what I'm saying, but you know, I'm not asking you to do anything crazy. I'm saying just like, what, things like 10 bucks? D do something about it, okay? Do, just do something about it, oh my God. Um, it's not hard, okay. Ooh, lip liners. Oh my gosh, I have so much to talk about. I'm gonna get through all this, okay. Um, this is kind of a cult favorite deodorant, the Cashmere Mist, the Donna Karen. Most things that coincide with a perfume or a fragrance, that, like as body lotion or a deodorant, garbage. This one is not, this one is amazing. And they released the aluminum free, I believe last year. I started using it, really loved it. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful natural deodorant that doesn't have aluminum and it's not an antiperspirant. Do not you do not switch from an antiperspirant. I'm I'm sweaty, okay? Like I've always needed a really heavy duty deodorant. Especially like different times of your life, like coinciding with like hormones and stuff. I don't know. But when you switch from an antiperspirant that you've been wearing for years to a natural deodorant, give it a week. And naturally you'll kind of stop sweating as much. I I don't know. I, I think it's better for me. I, I feel I don't know, I just feel better about it. I went years using a natural deodorant. I've used so many different ones from the native to just all different brands. And some of them are super irritating because of the essential oils that literally burn my skin. Um, some that have baking soda that literally chop my skin. 
This I really like. I just think this is wonderful. This is just the perfect one. It smells so good. So um, natural deodorant, maybe give that a shot for the new year. Um, oh my gosh, I mean, this is a given, but my Lash and Brow Serum, Game Changer, I'll link those. This body butter has, oh my God, I love this so much. So I've gotten back into L'Occitane stuff this year. And this was something I discovered at the very end of last year, but I've already repurchased a refill for this. Usually with body creams and stuff and lotions, there's ones I like better than others, but I just usually, you know, go to a different one or find, you know, I just, I'm not super like stuck on just one thing. I like to try different things. This smells so good. It's the yummiest body butter. Oh, it's delicious. It makes your skin glow. And then when you get ready to swap it, you just pull out the insert. Um, this is my second one. Oh, I love this. Try this. I will link to this exact one. So good. This is like my new favorite thing. Okay. I'm um, getting into like some makeup and some other thing. Oh, this is another cool thing I just discovered. I'm not going to say it's like a favorite yet, but it's the Kopari Golden Aura Body Oil with 24 karat gold and hyaluronic acid. It smells really good. It has like actual gold flakes in it and it's a very good body oil. It was in here, so I just thought I'd talk about it. Okay. This was the year of fake nails, like the Glamnetic nails for me, the press-ons, the kiss, whatever. Not all press-on. I wish they wouldn't even call them press-on. They're truly glue-on nails. I used to be like so hardcore about getting my nails done in the salon and they're very similar. And those have gotten so expensive and I don't like to keep up with that. I'm not going all the time. I can make these last for about three weeks and I don't have them on now because I took mine off last week, the red tipped ones, and they lasted three and a half weeks. Um, and I wanted to put these on right before our trip and I don't know which ones I'm gonna do. I might do these. I think these are cool with that at the cuticle. People, anytime I mention those, how do you do them? How do you? I do have an old video that's a couple years old where I was doing the kiss ones and the process is pretty much the same. But you literally just, this is described in two seconds. Cut your nails, okay? Take a cuticle stick, push your cuticles back as far as you can and kind of like scrub your nail surface a little so that you get all the cuticle debris off, you know what I mean? Take a nail file, buff the hell out of your nails, especially around the cuticles and the edges, areas where your nails would lift. Um, take the nails out, size them, lay them out to size. That comes, the Glamnetic comes with an alcohol pad. You can use that if you'd like. Uh, I usually don't. And then I use the glue that it comes with. People, that's the biggest question, what glue do you use? The glue that it comes with, it comes with glue. Put glue all over your nail and put glue on the nail itself, the fake nail. Put it on, now do not press it. That is a recipe for disaster. You're gonna have air bubbles and they're gonna fall off very quickly because you've just squeezed all the nails off or the glue off. When you place the nail, you want to place it cuticle first, you know, and I don't say jam it, but push it back into your cuticles in a comfortable way. Get it as far back. Don't lay it ahead or it's gonna grow out. It's already gonna look like a gap. Get it back into your cuticles. That's where pushing the cuticles back first come in to play because you won't even see a gap for like a week and a half, if that. And then just barely lay it down and just put enough pressure just to hold the nail on. Not to press it. You don't need to press it. The glue is doing the job. Do you know what I'm saying? And then you're good to go. And um, I will say the Glamnetic ones are the best. They hold the shape better. A lot of the Kiss ones, if you get ones that are more pointed or they have they'll start wearing off within about a week and they do start lifting. These, when you take them off, are still very hard and like shaped to what they are. They're shaped just like acrylic nails, thinner on the bottom, thick on the top. Give it a whirl. The Glamnetic ones are the best. As far as foundations go, um, this has just always for years been like my go-to, the Acne Solutions by Clinique, but I do feel like this is being discontinued, sadly, you know, it's so good. I just really love that one. It's beautiful. It just has a beautiful finish. That's what I wear most of the time. This year also, I discovered the Lancome, the Tint Ultra Wear. So good. Okay, so these are my faves. Oh, I have repurchased all these several times. The Luminous, um, the Luminous Silk. So good. Okay. And I really like this too, the La Mer Softwear Longwear Fluid. I'm shade Alabaster in the La Mer. I'm shade five in the Armani. And I am shade 300N in the Lancome and shade two in the Clinique. 
but those are just all my favorites. And if I had to pick one, I mean, I know the Clinique's kind of going because I feel like it's being discontinued. The Luminous Silk, I'm going to pick just because I've used it the longest. So, but they're, it's so similar to the Lancome. Like they're hardly detect, like you can't even hardly tell the difference. Um, and then, you know, quickly just the makeup products, which we really talked about a lot in the last video. I really, really, this was the year of just discovering the cream and the stick products that not only last and work for my skin, but that aren't loaded with coconut oils, which yeah, that's a natural product, but it's gonna naturally break you out. Um, waxes, all that stuff that's in every, pretty much every stick product. Um, this is the only brand I've ever found that consistently, like all of the products, do not have the garbage that will break you out. So, um, this I use these daily. This is my third one of the second one of these. I had a different color too, so technically my third. Um, and I've, I've used this is almost gone. I mean, I use this every day. It is the bronzing balm. It's the bronze stick and sane. Um, I will write link that below. You can draw it on. I use this is the best brush. Oh my gosh, I'll link this brush too. I just put on the brush and just go to town. Um, and I demoed that in the last video. The blush. I have these in so many different colors, but if I had to choose one, the cheeky is my favorite. And I don't just dab it on. I put it on a brush first. And then I, there's so many pretty colors. The Beverly Hills is wonderful. Stockholm is really pink. The Fox is really more of a bronzy brown, which I really love. But the Cheeky, I think, is the one that I would say is universally what I think would work for everybody. And um, again, no, pro no ingredients that will break you out. The, okay, this is, this is, oh my gosh, okay. This, okay, this bomb, this highlight stick. This is all I have left. This is the last little bit of it. This is in Kava. And I do this kind of the same thing with this. I put it on a little, um, you know, like that. And then I just dab it on. And this is what gives you that beautiful, like highlighted effect. And I like using a highlighting stick or a balm rather than a powder in this area, because all day I just feel like it's almost like wearing an eye cream there, or like some, a product that's not sliding off your face. It mimics your skin texture. Skin is not naturally powdered and dry. You know, skin looks dewy, it's supposed to, you know? It makes you look younger and your skin to look healthier. So I just think that's prettier and it works with you. My, my skin, it doesn't break me out. It's really, really good. This is an exact dupe for the Chanel stick that we all love so much. This one I really hated years ago when I was in that like powdery phase. I thought, this is like a grease stick. This is a balm and that's what it's supposed to be. Um, the sculpting one, I just used all of my other one and this is a new one that I have. The sculpting is the exact as this Kava. It has a bit, it has a bit of that sheen shimmer to it, right? Tiny bit of shimmer. So I'll put a little bit on my hand there. So I'm gonna kind of show you the comparison here. Now, the sculpting is the exact one. This one's new, so I'm not gonna bust into that yet. I don't wanna like contaminate it because I'm very funny about like using things when they're old. But this one is called Transparent. The sculpting is the one that I always like to use because it has a tiny bit of shimmer to it, like this. The sculpting one has no shimmer to it. It, it or no, the trans, the sculpting one has that the one called sculpting has the sheen to it, just like this, the shimmer. The one called transparent, this is kind of that product that I don't know who, I think it was Hailey Bieber or no, Sophia Ritchie. I get all those people confused. Really kind of just, oh, broke the internet. I discovered this product, I'm like, no, but okay. This became really popular. It, this one to me, I like, and this is the one that I have in my drawer now that I'm using. I kind of interchange that one and then the Merit, the Kava one that I just used. But this one just gives a shine, like a glowy shine. So if you look at them side by side, this is the Chanel one, the transparent. See, it's just kind of transparent and shiny. The one on the bottom is the Kava one, which has that little bit of a pearl to it, which is exactly the, um, the Chanel sculpting. 
I don't know. I would say if you're like, what did you just say? What should I get? I would say grab the Merit one, the Kava. I think you're really going to like it. But the Chanel ones are really, really great too. So much that I, I went through an entire um, sculpting one. And I just started the transparent. And I like it. It's good. It's really good. I love those so much. When I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just like put a little bit on and just dab it. It just makes you look healthy. It's just easy. Another Merit product are these eye these cream eyeshadows i love the clear like chic like the brown containers and then they're just beautiful the two colors you need are the mid-century and the broom the mid-century is that color that i use every day just on a fluffy brush i'll link the brush that i use and i just i did it in my video my last video so you can check that out and i do a trick on, on the under eye that kind of hides your lines and then the brune is a little darker, put in the outer corner, and then, to, you know, you can use that to line a little bit. Um, I'm going to have so many, I'm dreading this, I'm going to have so many products to link for this dang video. This brow pencil, it's $3 brow pencil, you're a sucker. I'm sorry if you're buying anything else. I was a sucker for so many years. Buy this, this e.l.f. brow pencil, it works so good. And I think when I was doing my makeup, I forgot to do this step, but... I love this brow gel, this tinted brow gel by Reefy, Reefy, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. But after I fill my brows, I just lightly go over it like that and it keeps them in place. But if you have any brows that are lighter than the other ones or kind of fading a little or you just want to kind of darken it up, even sometimes when most of the time. I don't take the time to like fill them in with the pencil. I'll just take this and do it. And this is the shade medium brown. This is a really good product. When it's getting a little dry, I might need to grab another one. My favorite mascara, the Better Than Sex. I have really loved the brown. That's what I'm using today. That's what I use most often. Um, eyeliners, I mean, I love the, the Barbarella Brown has been my favorite for years. It's the perfect like brown black that reads black, but just, stays on it blends well and then the tom ford this is the best best eyeliner it will last you so long it has kind of a brown end and a dark end this is my favorite so i'm wearing that today such a good eyeliner um what else oh a few more eyeshadows a perfume i know there's so many other things that i could share um but these I'm going to link as well. This one's my favorite, the Mary Rose. I've worn this one for a couple years. Really love it. This is a new one. And then the Tender Beige. This one's a little darker. I'm wearing a mix of both of them today. But these are so non-fussy. I put them on once in the morning. Let them set. You use this, you know, this end. We've all seen and used products like this in the past that probably like dried out our lips and looked like crap after a couple hours. And then you can't get it off. This isn't like that. It really stays put, but it wears very evenly. And this gloss is so moisturizing that you put on top of it. I just do that once. And then throughout the day, I just top it with any other gloss. And it just prolongs the lip color. It doesn't look chunky or dry. And usually by the end of the day, it's still kind of hanging on. And I think that's incredible. So love that. And speaking of lips, a few lip liners. You just can't go wrong with the Lancome Bronzel. This is, I think, the like one and done, all you'd ever need lip liner. But I also really like the Pillow Talk. It's a little more pink. And then the one that I use today, I've really liked these tower pencils. This is the work, it's called Work of Art. You can use these for your eyes. You can use these to contour. They're just really great little pencils. Um, they're really nice. And the Work of Art one is just the perfect color for your lips. Another few eyeshadows, because these Merit ones I kind of discovered toward the end of the year. But again, the Rowan, the Gold Lust, I always, I mean, again, I talked about this in the last video, or maybe it was this one, I don't remember, they're running together because I literally filmed the other one right before this. But just like with our mindset about powder eyeshadows and why do you think our eyes look, you know, age, I don't know, it's just powder and... We're drying them out with all this stuff. Like, no, I like a cream shadow that stays put. And these are nice. I mean, you can see they're just, I just stick my finger in them and just go to town whenever we go on vacation. This is usually just throw that in the bag and go. And my favorite powder eyeshadows, because I, I mean, you know, I do like these. I always, I, listen, I use powder eyeshadows, but I never, ever, ever skip this under it, which is the Eyelid Lift Serum, okay? so good 
But um, this is such a good palette. It is the Warm Nude Necessary Eyeshadow Palette. And it is so nice. And um, you know, all those years when I was tempted to buy just palette after palette and palette after, you can barely get through one palette with six shades within the time that palette's gonna expire and you've paid an arm and a leg for it. Much less like 15 or my God, how many? How many? Like, God, I used to have them. So many people would have all these palettes and I get tempted. You guys hear the rain? It's very. Um, I get tempted sometimes and wanna buy more of them. Or, you know, the new Kim Kardashian, like the neutrals came out. I'm like, I mean, I can do that with other things. It's great and I love makeup, but be aware, I think. And like I said, going into this year and going into like what some of my upcoming videos are going to be, I really am going to continue with this mindset of quality. I was going to say quantity. That would be wrong. Quality over quantity and not buying a bunch of makeup that I don't need. And I think when I first started here, when I first started my channel in 2008, it was the opposite. And it was like the flex was to have a million things, a million options, all of these things, because we had just started. We didn't know in two years, okay, like we, didn't, we weren't thinking ahead, like we could be able to use this stuff forever. And we couldn't. And then we threw out bags and bags of makeup and then we're traumatized. And it's like, okay, what for, what did we do this for? And I think, oh, I, I feel like the last 10 years, I've kind of really tried, I've kind of slowly over all of this evolution of time here on YouTube, every year you should grow a little, you should change what you're doing. And I look back at this last decade, because I've done, this is my 16th year on YouTube. I look back, this last decade especially, these last five years, and I just think things have gotten so much better. Like. The products that I'm using are like so good. Um, I feel like my makeup looks better. I feel like I'm aging well. My skin looks good. I'm proud that I've always taken care of my skin and I've taken in, in, in myself. Some, someone's out there like rolling their eyes like, well, no, you should take care of yourself. You should value yourself. You should do things that make you happy. You know, someone might be saying, well, how do you have the time to do this? That person may put on lipstick every day during their lives or fix their face a little bit or done their hair every day. Why do they do that? Well, because it makes them feel good. So doing these things, taking time to like, you know, take care of your skin, is just like a little hug to yourself every day. You know, it just makes you feel valuable or like you're doing something good. And I think we can all take 10 minutes. We can all carve out any amount of time to do things for ourselves and to use some good things that might be good for our skin, but that might make us happy. And um, so I do think this is important, but my point is, narrowing it down and, and just not just being willy-nilly and me just going out and buying the latest and buying you know oh I've got to get this new launch or this new release just to show or this or that it's like for what like anyone can do that we can all see that but I want to know what someone I trust and that actually I feel is like aging well or looking you know okay they have the same kind of you know issues that I do or you know oh I can see this product she's used for 10 years like that she told us about this 10 years ago, she's still using it, you know, and it's working. I value that, you know, I, and I want to, and so I, I think these things that I found from these merit sticks to just like these good foundations where, you know, people talk about, oh, this foundation is the best or this, but you see them trying a new foundation literally every month. And I'm like, well, any of us have access to any of these things, you know, like you could, I mean, if you if you can afford it, you can buy whatever. We can all buy anything and show it. But I want to know what the people I actually trust are using. Uh, I don't know how I'm, I'm, I hope I'm coming across, but I just feel that I'm proud of all this time we've built up because it's experience. It's, you know, learning, you know, what works, what doesn't, what sucks, what's good. What I mean, all the things. And, um, and having this channel and reaching you guys and like showing you guys things and being just even having like things on my LTK or being a quote influencer or whatever it is anyone's an influencer if they're you know tell, reviewing something or telling someone that this might be good and influencing someone to do anything I don't take that lightly and I feel like I do have I don't see the responsibility because I don't want to be using crap 
you know, if I wasn't doing YouTube or didn't do any of this, I would still be wanting to use good stuff. But I have such a responsibility to you guys to not say like that something's good if it's not or to, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I've almost been like pushed all these years to like keep trying to find good things and to stick with what works and um, to to be just like honest and to share good things with you guys. Okay, I'm rambling, I realize that. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys see what I'm saying. And then, I don't wanna say last, I feel like I'm leaving out so much stuff, you guys, but this is just truly, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else I wanna grab, but God, there's so many good things. But um, these are just real good. I mean, I found so many great perfumes. I, I have such a big perfume collection. I love trying different things. Perfume excites me, but there's always that one that we always go back to. And for me, for years, it's been um, the Baccarat Rouge 540. I've used this now for about, I'd say three years. I started using it in 2020. Um, and the last time I bought this, I actually splurged for the big bottle. I've had, this is the Eau de Parfum. I've had the Extract one that's a lot more expensive. I feel like that one is like, knives in my nostrils i just it's too sharp it's sour where this one smells sweet um and i know people say oh it smells different on everybody i've smelled that one on other people and it smells sour and sharp i don't like it but i get tons of compliments on this one i know every time i go out i get compliments i hate that but i'm saying like people notice this stuff it has become very mainstream to where like the guy, like when I got my, when I broke my foot, the guy that was x-raying my foot was like, my girlfriend wears that. The guy at the emergency room was like, that smells familiar. Someone I know wears that. I go through a drive through Is that Baccarat? Oh, I'm wearing, it's just, everyone notices this and it's very unique. Um, and I will not stop wearing it. I really, really like it. For a while it reminded me of COVID because I started wearing it in 2020 and then I was like, that reminds me of that year. But it's just, it's so good. I don't know, I just really do love it. And um, I would say, try the Eau de Parfum. People that spend money on the extract, people that spend the money on the extract, which this one is not cheap. It's very expensive, but it lasts a while. I don't know, not really for me, because I use it every day. Um, people that buy the extract will let you know that they buy the extract and that everything else sucks because they're trying to like, I think like, justify spinning it smells good and you get used to what you get first but i purchased the extract wanting to like feel a little something like oh i've had that one maybe i'll get that one and i physically could not i bought the alt crystal 23 which everyone talks about as well and in the bottle it smells exactly like baccarat and i even recommended it to someone that i knew a few people and then I was like, oh God, I wish I hadn't have because whenever I wear that one, it smells like knives. I mean, it's, just, is that weird to say? It's just, ugh, it's terrible. But something about this one is just the best. It's so good. And if people are gonna be picky, I heard some lady be like, well, this is just the Eau de Parfum. What are you talking about? Like, that's nice. Like, you don't wanna, I mean, I don't say don't want, but like an Eau de Toilette, it's not gonna last as long. That's the one I wouldn't spend much money on. But a, when this is perfume, you're fine, okay? You're good. Let's not be too picky patty, okay? Because, like, I don't know if this is going to last long enough. Like, what are you trying to cover up? Like, I have sweaters in my closet that I haven't worn since 2020 that still smell like this stuff. You'll be fine. It's going to... Okay, everyone's a critic. Okay, let's continue. I think we're done. I think we're done. <laughs> Oh, no, we're not done. One more thing. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have. This is such a good thing. I can't, I, I don't want to say I can't live without this, but I, I love my Colleen Rothschild shampoo. I'm recently using Orbe shampoo that I hadn't used in years. I, I really loved using that again. But this is one thing I will not be without the ACV uh, apple cider vinegar hair rinse. And I used to use the one that said light. And the last time I picked it up, they only had this huge size in the regular. I think I prefer the regular. It feels a little more moisturizing. I use this, I mean, I shower every day. And I used to, you know, wear a shower cap and wash my hair once every three days. Or, But I, I do like the feeling of washing my hair every day. Especially, like, if you're sweating or especially in the summer when we're, like, swimming and stuff. Like, I have to wash my hair every day. But I know the benefits of not washing it every day. I don't color my hair, so that's not like wrecking my color or hurting it or anything. But um, it's just the act of like sudsing it up and using, you know, all that. That may not be the best. This is such a good alternative. I, I probably use shampoo on my hair every three washes. I use this, 
I just, I love this, okay? So instead of shampoo, you know, when you're in the shower, you wet your hair, whatever, like you just think you normally would. And um, you just, I don't wanna get it on my hair, it's closed. But you know, you just kinda just get it in there. And then you rub it around, you let it sit for like two minutes. And it says it locks in color, helps seal the cuticle and add shine, keeps pH balanced, a shampoo substitute that gently removes impurities. So you're like rinsing your hair, you're getting that satisfying feeling of washing hair. Cause I like to get, that's the thing, I don't like to get in the shower without washing, I like to feel that on my hair. Okay, um, but it is healthy, you know what I mean? Then you just follow it with a shampoo, but it's not so like stripping. Um, makes your hair really shiny, very gentle, and then you follow it with just, I use a regular conditioner after, and then it it's nice. Um, so. I can name every product that I got because I don't keep anything that sucks. Um, I got so many great things. That's what makes you so hard. And this was a huge roundup. But these are truly such great items and things that I reach for. Not every single one of them, but they, you know, reach for at least one of these things every day. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, that maybe you picked up on some new things that you might want to use. And if you didn't watch my last video where I did this makeup look using a lot of the makeup that I mentioned, check that out because I'm sharing a lot of tips in that one too. On, um, you know, like I said, just the concealer trick, the eyeshadow trick, a lot of different things. Um, so check that out. And I'm so excited to begin another year with you guys. And I'm just so thankful. Um, I don't know. I'm just so thankful to be able to connect with you guys in this way. It is really fun. I still enjoy it just as much as I did P more. I enjoy it more than I did when I very first started because it's become what it has. And it's, it makes me feel good to know that like I'm sharing good things with you guys. So, um, I hope that y'all are happy. I hope that you're safe and doing well and positive and ready to begin a new year and just, just doing what we can, right? Um, but I love y'all so much and I will talk to you all very soon. Join our podcast if you haven't. My goodness, if you haven't, like you will literally like have, if you join now, you'd have like th almost three years worth of episodes to listen to that probably cover anything and everything you've ever been curious about if you have been, but just very, it's just entertaining. Okay. I'm going to say it. It's a good podcast and People love it, and I think you would too if you don't, if you haven't listened to it yet. Um, Brad's done such a good job with it. Uh, so anyways, you guys, thank you, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.